Hey everybody, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Winter NAM 2014 talking to Joe Vallette, very famous builder of beautiful acoustic instruments Not like famous. this. Not Pretty famous. famous. All right, whatever. <laughs> and Lisa is playing for us. Joe, you have some pretty big news. You've been building for a long time, but this is pretty big news for you. Tell everyone. Yes, after um, doing what I do in a, on a very, very, very small level in Woodstock, we've decided to have sort of a boutique line done in Korea for us from some very reputable people. Now you've been building for how many years before you decided to do this? Uh, about 42 or 43. Boy, that sounds like a long time. <laughs> So, well, so it's a, is tired. So this is a big deal for people who have it's really big. dug your instruments, but you know when you are building everything by hand, you know it comes at a premium. So this is putting, starting to put your instruments in people's hands a little more easily. Exactly. I mean, the reason I make guitars is so uh, I can sort of make music with second hand, uh -huh. and uh, that's why I don't do any inlays or anything. You know, anything that's like not about it being a tool for a musician is kind of not what I want to do. I want to get as much music made as possible. So you want it to look nice, but in the end it's all about how everything affects the sound. But having to make things by hand in, in Woodstock or anywhere in the States, you're really up against a world situation now where I do what I do and I think I do it pretty well, but then I'm faced with telling someone they have to pay me $40,500 for the guitar, which is a lot of money. And if I wasn't making them, I wouldn't be able to own one. So I really like the idea that people can finally get some things that I've designed and uh, worked, worked with the people and have a hand in developing that they can afford. So the first model you're doing is called the Avante. It's a short scale 12 string. It's a short scale high tuned 12 string. It's tuned up uh, 10 frets. It's tuned up D to D, uh -huh. and um, we. It's an instrument that we've done very very well with over the years, and I'm really thrilled that people will be able to uh, get them. The, the retail will be under two thousand dollars, and uh, the street price will probably be somewhere around fourteen hundred. And okay, so in the past, these went for around 4000 Well, these days they're going for about 45 but they've gone from anywhere from like 36, five, six years ago to, to upper, upper four. And uh, it's not a thing that a journeyman musician, someone who's just trying to make, some, make a living uh, playing guitar, can generally own. It's a lot of money. Right. It's really a lot of money. So do you want to talk a little bit about the process of having this built overseas because I'm just, it was probably sort of a tough decision to make for someone who's been doing it by hand for so long. Well, it's really strange because the decision almost got made for us. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time and I realized that you're kind of hitting your head against the wall trying to get, uh, get them in, into a lot of different stores and it suddenly became apparent that we could do this on a small scale. Ten years ago, or even uh, six years ago, not that many people knew who I was, not that many people saw what the guitars could do out there, and you had to spend a huge amount of money for tooling and have, buy them 200, 400 at a clip. Uh, now, uh, some of the Korean companies are happy to do more boutique -y kind of things. They're also in, in a c competitive situation, and they would like to be associated with some quality pieces that are not so ma so much mass market. So, you know, in this context, it's still kind of a almost a high end sort of boutique -y kind of thing. It's just on a level that a whole lot of lot more people can can get in the game with. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about specifics for this instrument and then hear it a little bit more. Tell us about the woods, the internal construction techniques, the other so features. It's built out of mahogany with a Sitka spruce top. It's it all laminated or? No, it's not laminated. It's all solid woods. Um, it's got a, a double acting truss rod and um, a very uh, a lovely sounding preamp that we're. Uh, we're so something really custom voice for you? Or? Yes. And it basically has all the details of the, uh, the instruments we, we do over here. Um, with one change is that we're putting the strap button here, 
and we're working out a, a, a way to get um, a, a black bolt back there. <laughs> but we're very close, and the next production one will probably be hitting in about another two months. And right now, we're just putting them in a few select stores. Okay, so you got a quarter inch jack for the preamp. Is it a piezo under yes. the bridge? Is there also an internal mic or anything? No, it's or? a piezo under the bridge saddle. And the um, same, same thing as what we do with the, the ones made here. It's got a very convenient 9-volt box that you can easily get out, and you can only put the battery in one way, which is very good when it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> now, how about the controls inside the upper bow sound hole? Controls in the upper bow. About is it just volume and tone? or It's a volume and a treble roll-off. It's a volume and tone, but the tone is not active. It's a treble roll-off. Lisa, why don't we have you play that? We've got it hooked up to an amp back here, and let's hear that. Joe, where can people go online to find out more about this new venture with your uh, the Avantes that are being built overseas? And my website is www.vayetteguitars.com. That's well, V-E-I. There you go, <laughs> Vayette Guitars <laughs> or Valetteguitars.com if that makes you feel better. Nice. And uh, thanks very much. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.